<laughs> oh yeah, cool. We have this uh, funny clip. Cons um, I know I mentioned previously I wouldn't talk about Callan and the whole issue, and I'm not again. This is more so a funny topic that they kind of spoke about on their podcast. Um, was it called Conspiracy Social Club? Find it on Patreon. I think it's on Patreon.com forward slash Brian Callan. So make sure you support them on that one. This is a clip I got via the homeless cat. So big up those guys for clipping it. But um, it's funny because I guess. <clears throat> Some of these clips have been shared of the stuff they're doing behind a paywall on Patreon with um, Sam Tripoli and Brian Callen. I guess some people have been noticing that Tripoli's been acting a bit weird um, on camera because I guess they've noticed he's, you know, him looking geeked out, you know, which is a slang word for looking like he's high out of his mind, tripping balls on some uh, speedy type drugs, some booger sugar, as it may be affectionately known as. Um, but if you're familiar with Sam Triple and you're familiar with Tim for a hat and you're familiar with his various appearances on other podcasts, you'd know that's just how he is. He's got the similar sort of mannerisms as like a Eddie Bravo. And Eddie Bravo doesn't strike me as somebody that partakes in class A drugs. You just look like somebody that's always on, right? Like a, what did um what did Fia Von call Eddie Bravo affectionately? And Eddie Bravo had to put pressure on him and, you know, basically made him apologize for it. Was it like a deaf, a deaf Jack Russell or something, right? That's what he called him. And that's effectively what you could call um, Sam Tripoli. Sam Tripoli is like a deaf boxer, right? That's probably what he is in that regard. He's just so amped up and, you know, ready to go. And there's a, maybe again, it's a, it's a consequence of being into conspiracies. There's not a one conspiracy person that I've seen online, especially on YouTube. Maybe it's, maybe it's part of the, we have to do to be on a platform. You know, you have to be quite animated. Uh, maybe, no, no. I guess if you're into conspiracies, the fact that you're into them makes you think that it's a person that's looking for answers, right? You're looking you're looking to, um, you're questioning things around you. You're looking for answers. You dig a bit deeper. You end up in rabbit holes and then your, your mind's constantly being blown with all the connections you're making. Like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. You know, bro, look at this. This person's there, that person's there. They, 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 they. So, that is naturally going to make you be on 10. You're always going to be amped up and ready to share whatever you've found out via some nefarious, you know, subreddit, forum, group chat, whatever, right? You're just kind of eager to share it. So maybe that's why they can come across a little bit, you know, high off the old um, Pablo Escobar, which I don't think is true, personally. I don't think so. I don't, again, I, don't, I just don't think, I think having been around people who partake in those kind of things on a regular basis, um, you know when they're on it all the time. You know, right? Um, I think, especially with somebody like a Sam Trippi, to be running the stuff, to be, you know, he, he does so many podcasts. He's always recording and putting out content. Um, you know, he's got two young chill kids. I think I think he's got triplets, isn't it? I'm pretty sure, right? It's pretty difficult to balance a home life, being a desk, being a present dad, especially during lockdown, putting out the content he's putting out and to be completely high all the time. Now, again, I know it can be possible, but from what I see, I just think it's somebody that's really enthusiastic about what he does and kind of wants to share it with everybody. But anyway, let's play the clip of Sam Tripoli addressing some of the rumours out there on the interwebs about him and basically telling us that under no circumstance... Hey, we're in. Hey, I'll let's play it. Hey. <laughs> Hey, we're in. Hey, I want to address something to the comment <laughs> section real quick about some of you motherfuckers think I'm out here tweaking my balls off during these Sorry. shows, man. I take vitamins, but here's what I'll do. Any vitamin coke. Now, I'm only pausing it now and I'm going to let it run out. It Again, I paused it at one of the worst moments, right? Brian kind of looking very devious, like, uh-oh. And then uh, Tripoli looking, you know, very uh, happy, let's say. Question. Why is it in most forms of entertainment industry, or most forms in most versions of the entertainment industry, most scenes, most places, most sectors, whatever, why is it in the entertainment industry there's such a taboo around people saying openly and admitting that they partake in such, you know, things when everyone is necessarily essentially doing it why is that the case you think people are quick to claim and to wear like a badge on their chest or to essentially form their entire personality around it like Bert Kreischer when it comes to drinking or smoking weed like what's that name what's this guy getting high with Doug all these people right 
like you, that's okay but somehow whenever it goes to like the class a stuff even mushrooms have become you know that's a fine i've heard people talk about that acid but when it comes to stuff like coke and stuff like or even just heroin like people are using these things on a daily basis i'm pretty sure no one's naive enough to think that it's just um you know uh malnutrition crackheads on the side of the streets that are doing these things you know people that you look up to people that you watch their content every day are doing these things on a regular basis so for people to assume or for him to get super defensive about it is weird especially being a stand-up comedian because i'm sure that back room of those comedy clubs some of those toilets you know you put a uv light on that shit and it's flipping glowing you know what i mean i'm pretty sure and we're under no illusions these things happen so why the hesitancy to ad not admit it because you know you don't want to get yourself in trouble but you know this is happening you know this is a thing like it's not an odd it's not like a out of the blue question to kind of ask somebody right it doesn't really um i don't know i just i'm not too sure about the reaction but anyway let's play the clip me you motherfuckers want to talk some shit put a g down in a bet i'll piss anytime you want <laughs> I put a thousand dollars in he's not doing any drugs a lot of blow but no drugs no blow <laughs> no nothing that shit's gone i take vitamins I and i just found this group of vitamins that makes me feel vitamins. tweaky and i enjoy it and i just take i'll what show you the they? vitamins because you you I, you're you don't seem any different than you're all you always are like this. yeah but these people they're like i don't know for some reason every clip you have i just kind of look at you like <laughs> when I went, we went right, in Afghanistan that. for eleven days, and we weren't we weren't sleeping, and you were still like this. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I'm high energy, sloppy dog. Okay, tweaking, tweaking. Like who shows up to a thing tweaking? Wait, go back to the heavy gals. So they they decide. But one thing's for sure, that's the clip, and you're ready at the end of it. But one thing's for sure, Sam Tripoli is a hell of a friend. He's a really good friend of all the flipping Hollywood friends Callan has, and all the podcasters, and all these industry celebs who were, you know, quick to jump on his show when he was with Brendan on firing a kid and talking about how funny he was and all this malarkey and kissing his ass. The moment he gets involved in a scandal, again, it's admittedly it's a serious scandal. He's got some serious accusations against him. But the only guy to really stand by him, really, of course, is Shaw. Right? He's still sending him some money through the T5K accounts and making sure he's okay on that side and still talking about him in a good way. But, you know, Sam Tripoli, man. Like, again, I love Joe Rogan, but he's never mentioned Callum's name or Crystalia's name since the um, public cancellation. So, again, if Sam Tripoli's on whatever he's on and he's holding Callum down and supporting him behind the scenes and putting his basic reputation on the line by aligning himself with Brian, then I'm all for it, man. I think that, that, goes, that says a lot more about his character as a person than the fact that he likes to partake in some drugs because he's an adult like leave the guy alone if he's on if he's on what he's on it is what it is i think it's a probably a bit of a bullshit excuse i think you know to say people you're on vitamin when people accuse you for looking like you're tripping out of your head and then you say you're on vitamins i don't know man it sounds a bit fishy to me but again do what you want you live a free life you play your taxes you look after your kids and your family you have a successful career and even if you didn't Whose business is it? Honestly, lockdowns basically taught me that um, we're all kind of going through whatever we're going through during these unprecedented times. Um, you know, joy and enjoyment are sort of short, right? In short supply, there's not much to really get excited about in the mornings. If you're just under the, especially if you're on furlough, like imagine you're being paid to stay at home. Every day is the same, right? It's just boring. So if, if you had need to partake in some extracurriculars, you know, to kind of keep your mood stable or to kind of just give you a reason to get up in the morning so be it man so be it do what you can because no one else is gonna save you that's for damn sure